Hello and welcome. My name is Mohammad, the author of Secure Android Design and Development. I'm here to explain how the book will help you, why it's important to read the book or knowing about secure design and development and what this book will provide to you. Let's start with the why. We know that we can find Android everywhere. It's in our TVs, it's in our like uh, home devices, it's in our smartwatches, it's in our smartphones, and recently you will see that the automotive companies are using it widely. So it's not just about user privacy, it's, it might be about the user and client safety as well. For example, you are developing an application finance or banking, it's the financial information of your customer and client and the user as well. When it comes to the automotive, it's about safety as well. And you see, we are able to make the life easier for our users, or we might threat them by not taking care of the security. The second reason is that we cannot count only on Google facilities. I mean, Google security facilities in Android. Android has one of the most advanced, I think, security layers in sense of operating systems. But you know, we are dealing with input and outputs. For example, in commercial applications, you are getting information from a remote server. So I think that's totally unacceptable to see a SQL injection vulnerability nowadays, because we know that at least for more than two decades, kind of. So we need to know the basics. We need to know the concepts. We need to know how an attack will happen and then provide the a proper protection to this. Let's talk a bit about how, how this book will help you. First of all, when I was writing the book, I was willing to provide a roadmap, something that helps you in different stages of software lifecycle. Second of all, I would say that we need to have a bird view in security. It's not an action, it's a continuous effort to deliver a secure product or project. And I would say that I have tried to give you 360 perspective in secure design and development in Android. It will start explaining different aspects of security. For example, when you are dealing with architecture and design, what should be kept in your mind? Or when you are reviewing the code, what should be respected there? And there are lots of information being provided by the book. It, that's about what. So we are trying to provide some guidelines, some methodologies, some perspective, some principles and concepts, and of course, some best practices. For example, let's say that about attack and defense. We know that there are some attacks by pen testers or maybe hackers that they are providing to get access to the information of or resources of the application or even trying to find a high set or maybe a serious vulnerability in your application or operating system to take control of the device. In different scenarios, you need to protect different things. And based on the project, based on the requirement, based on the sensitivity of the application or system that you are working, you will deal with different situations. And there are lots of information, for example, about compilers. There are some features from the compilers to help you to protect your application, especially in C++ and C. In Java and Kotlin, we have some common vulnerabilities that they are not hard to understand and easy to follow. And my final word is that this book is something that you can keep in your library that every time you are dealing with a problem, you can go there, you can take it and look into different topics and find the steps that you need to take or at least getting some idea that what should be done. To be honest, there were some moments in my career that I was not that much sure that what should be done. I didn't have any idea what should I do, especially if you are a technical lead, if you are an architect, if you are a team lead, or if you are willing to get a promotion, or if you are willing to improve your technical knowledge and perspective, that something will help you to understand the security in Android very much better.
And that's not only about the application layer, it helps you to understand other layers as well. For example, we, I have provided something about AI deal. There are some practical examples help you to see the big picture. Of course, I have not completed all the details in the chapter, but if you go through them and if you try to apply the contents and the knowledge and the concepts I mean that provided in the book you will see that you have found the big picture very well. I hope that you find the book useful and I would be happy to get some feedback from you. Thank you.